Hello and welcome back. This time we will talk about the business cycle. If you haven't seen my previous macroeconomics videos, it might be a good idea to check them too. Okay, let's start with the definition of the business cycle. The business cycle refers to the natural fluctuation of economic activity in an economy over time. It represents the cyclical pattern of expansion, growth, and contraction, recession, that occurs in a capitalist system, as measured by various economic indicators, such as gross domestic product, GDP, employment rates, and inflation. Now I am going to show you the different phases of the business cycle. The business cycle is typically divided into four phases. Expansion this is the phase where economic activity is increasing, and there is growth in output, employment, and income. In this phase, businesses are experiencing high demand, and consumer confidence is usually strong. Peak This is the phase where economic activity reaches its maximum point, and the economy is operating at full capacity. In this phase, businesses have reached their maximum level of output, and consumer demand may start to decline. Contraction this is the phase where economic activity starts to slow down, and there is a decline in output, employment, and income. In this phase, businesses are experiencing lower demand, and consumer confidence is usually weak. Trough This is the phase where economic activity reaches its lowest point, and the economy is operating at a minimum level of output. In this phase, businesses may be struggling to stay afloat, and consumer demand may be at its lowest. And after this it starts recovering. Next, I will go through briefly the causes of the business cycle. The business cycle is driven by a combination of demand side and supply side factors, including demand side shocks, these are sudden changes in consumer or business spending that can cause a shift in economic activity. For example, a recession or financial crisis can cause a decrease in consumer spending, leading to a contraction in economic activity. Supply side shocks, these are sudden changes in the availability or cost of production inputs, such as labor or raw materials, that can cause a shift in economic activity. For example, a natural disaster or war can disrupt the supply chain, leading to a decrease in economic output. Monetary policy, the actions of central banks can also contribute to the business cycle. For example, if a central bank increases interest rates, it can reduce consumer spending and investment, leading to a contraction in economic activity. Fiscal policy, government spending and taxation policies can also contribute to the business cycle. For example, if a government increases spending during an expansionary phase, it can boost economic activity, while cutting spending during a contractionary phase can exacerbate the downturn. Overall, the business cycle is a natural and inevitable part of a capitalist economy, and it is driven by a complex interplay of economic factors. By understanding the phases of the business cycle and the causes that contribute to it, Individuals and businesses can make informed decisions and prepare for the ups and downs of the economy. I hope you like this video. Please, remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel. See you.